Welcome into Extra Time. Craig, Stevie, Sebastian, Gab with us as well. Is that the old laid back welcome to Extra Time? <laughs> you know, sometimes I get a little bit too excited, a little too tightly wound, some might say. Sometimes I try to slow down a little bit. I I pause. I don't actually wind you up in purpose. People just <laughs> think that I do. They do. <laughs> they do. I, mean, yeah, I can wind Thomas up as well. Yeah, I feel he like. Goes. I can always tell when he's going because the eyes start to go. Really? And that's when I know I've got him. Do we have like certain ticks, us presenters, that you can just tell when we're. Yeah. Hi. Uh, yep. Generally. Do we get to the questions? You can do as you well, please. That's going right. To uh, David <laughs> wants to know Oh, God. Uh, how do the guys feel? <laughs> having you back on as host. So, oh. Why do you guys pick this one when you know they're just gonna... <laughs> do we really need to share? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Oh, come on, I came in here today and you were like, hey, Seb, what's up, man? I missed you. Well, that's what I meant. Why would you go negative? Oh, you're happy. I was being positive. <laughs> well, I mean, most of the talk about me on the show is not positive. Is it not? Par oh, oh, I listen to the podcast. One. Tick him off. Another one on the paranoid list. <laughs> yeah. oh, another American got, on the paranoid got, list. There we go. They don't like got us. issues. He's got personal issues about himself. Me? Oh, well, well, who you, else would I have personal issues about? You went straight to the about. negative when I was being positive, so... I've not even mentioned the night out where you never paid for anything. Oh, you have mentioned it, actually, right in this once, very segment, many ago. times. Well, there's only three presenters. When there's was you. that? There's, there's, there's Dan, there's you, and then there's the space cadet, Adrian. Adrian. What do you mean he never paid? I just treated him. Yeah. Oh, you're not one of them, are you? <laughs> Excuse me? You're not one of them. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, yes, well, I've, uh, I've heard that uh, uh, you, drink, you drink a cheap beer just to save money. I don't want to name the brand just in case they're like a sponsor, but come on, man. Everything you do is, a, you is about being cheap. Listen, you're going to attack me about being cheap? money, but nothing cheap? else but a connoisseur. A connoisseur oh, hold on of a beer. Hold on a second. Uh -huh. How many times have you been out with me? How many times have I been out with you? Yeah. Well, I don't know, ever. Well, there you go. So you're spouting out all kinds of nonsense. You're just talking about it on extra time here. yesterday. <laughs> you know, you're talking about Oh, there's Gab. I thought Gab was gone. No, Gab's still with us. Gab's still with Sebby. us. Sebby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sebby, just to be clear, when I was invited to the Nickel residence for, for dinner, uh, which I'm assuming you haven't been, oh, we drank some very fine beer. It was by no means cheap. None of this $6 a case stuff. So... I think you, you owe Stevie a bit of an apology with, his, with your cheap beer gag. All right, so let's Thank get Thank you, Gab. You'll be back. Next time you're over here, you're back in for another one. I got to apologize to Wayne Rooney. I got to apologize to Stevie you know Nichols. Well, 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 so hold on there. a second. Right. So, listen, let me tell you something. I like a glass of champagne. Oh. I, I actually like a glass of champagne. Oh, okay. It doesn't mean I've got to go and spend thousands of dollars on a bottle of champagne, does it? I'm just saying you call well, because me Because I don't cheap. spend thousands of dollars. Felt like the kettle. It means I'm cheap. Oh. Oh, you, you do oh, prefer that. You prefer that oh, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm very sorry to have insinuated that you are frugal. I'll accept your apology. Okay. Grudgingly. His, his favourite champagne is Lambrusco. Lambrusco? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Even I know that. It's a very cheap drink. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Doug. You know, I think if Gab went round to Stevie's house and there was uh, a decent beer there, it's either one or two things. There was a party before. Uh, and it was I've been round there and, and left <laughs> some, or Gab took his own. So you, so there is some truth to what I'm saying. It sounds like. I can't believe a word that comes out as mouth. <laughs> you having a laugh? All right. Well, I, I All eagerly await. All the things he says to you, and then you right. take his side but against I eagerly me. await the invitation to join you and Eleanor. So that's more no, important. Why you'll be waiting? All right. Don't worry. <laughs> so that's more important. How come? How come? <laughs> so you've not been asked. Craig Burley has, has taken me out to dinner and paid for it. By the way, in case you didn't know, uh, I got you know all the John Champion these guys. Hold on. And you've I been out with Dan, haven't you? With who? Dan. Yeah, Dan, been out Dan's a social chair. You've not been out with Ali, but then nobody, you know, Ali. Ali hates me. Uh, uh, well, well, I, Ali, <laughs> I mean, you don't go out and drink Shirley Temples. Ali doesn't go <laughs> out, does he? He's no. not that, he's not that no. kind of creature. No, hung out with Shaq a couple times. Still. So you've been out with everybody apart from him. Yeah. yeah. And you're, so you're right, he doesn't like you. Yeah. Okay. There well, we go. Uh, Gab, question for you. Milan's keeper, uh, re has he reached his peak? Donnarumma, I guess, I guess we're talking about here. He's young, I get. Does he need to go abroad? Philip wants to know. Does he need to go abroad to further his education as a goalkeeper? No, he doesn't. He's at, he's at Milan, he's playing in front of 50,000 people. If, if the club continue underachieving and he decides, you know, I want to play for, for a club that can, that, that can go and challenge for the Champions League, sure. But in terms of his personal development, uh, no, I think he's, he's in the right place. And I would imagine also as a goalkeeper that, you know, if he were to go and, and 
go and join Juventus or, or, or Manchester City or something or one of those clubs where you, know, you only face a couple shots a game, I don't know that that would do him much good either. He's still young, he's happy where he is, and uh, last season maybe he stalled a little bit, but I think uh, uh, this season he's, uh, he's developing in and he's got tremendous tools. Pretty good today was against Genoa. Gregorio wants to know what is the worst injury you have ever had? What's that to You got one? I don't oh, before the, what, after, after the, the 86 Cup. World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I read it yeah. in the book. Yeah. What yeah. was it? Hernia? I uh, thought it was a hernia, but I, I told the muscle and a hernia. So I got it fixed up. How long? Which, did you... Fair enough. How long? We out? Uh, six to eight weeks. Then you? the problem was, about six to eight weeks after I got it done, it went again. Oh. I had to go in and get it all doubled up, and I was rather panicking. It wasn't actually a football-related injury, but he had, he had actually he had consumed too many sausage rolls that night. <laughs> what are you on about? I bossed his stomach. Seriously? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just glad somebody else is getting picked on for once. But, uh, but, but he's making no sense at all. No, no. The, uh, how many operations did you have? <laughs> I had six. You had six? What was I, your worst? I would say the worst one, because I... I had my stomach done as well, both sides. My Achilles was the worst one. Pain in the back. You snapped it. I didn't snap it, but I had to go in and get it all cleaned out. Because all your weight goes through it. And I ain't got much weight, unlike him. But no, quite, quite smelled. You know what, you're not looking too great <laughs> enough. I don't, I don't know about then, but... Patrick wants to know, Stevie, Achilles. what's the difference between mushy peas... Mushy peas. Mushy, mush, mushy peas and conventional peas? Well, I think the answer's in the question, isn't it? <laughs> They're mushy. Yes. Correct! Hey! And conventional peas are just not but mushed up. I've got to say, if you burn them, they both end up with If you're playing Mario Kart, <coughs> if you burn them, they get end out of hand. Same. Mushy peas, you can get them here as well. What do, you, do you just boil yeah. peas or what do you do? Saute them? Oh, you... oh do you saute them? Saute them. Or I grill them. You, yeah, you know no, why you don't boil... do Now you know why I've never been out here. <laughs> you can put them in the saute. microwave. What you all of it? Or you just boil them in some uh, yeah. okay. in a pan. So mushy peas then next time I'm invited over. Mushy peas are just They're not coming. Hey. I mean I can't be any clearer. He's not. You just mash them, right? They're <laughs> just peas that are mashed, mushy peas. You're talking to you. I mean you're talking to a Michelin style chef here. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. And you're asking him about mushy peas. That was disrespectful. Both yeah. on my part and Patrick's part who submitted the question. Well, Patrick, to be fair. You're gonna catch your flight what? tonight? I think so. Well, I'm gonna catch it. Well, actually, oh, now you want to? Well, I mean, it, it, I would miss the flight if I had somewhere else to go. Well, unfortunately, you don't. No, I would lie. Would just remember, I, I don't know if anybody's man. noticed this. I don't know if any of the viewers have noticed. <laughs> but do you remember when you used to do the show? You always had your uh, your Mac, the laptop. Yeah, your laptop. Yeah, it's right. You want to get it? No. Okay. And then you got a bit of stick. A just bit. change. Uh, for yeah. having the aforementioned laptop and all your information on it, and it's now turned into a pad. A notepad. A notepad. <laughs> I went from laptop Larry to notepad Nate. Pad Nate. All right, that'll do it for extra time. Don't work. Wash your peas. Gab, thanks for joining us. It's been a pleasure as always. Craig, same to you. Stevie, well, you can get deeply, stuff. deeply hurt. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Go to HR. We'll see you tomorrow. You still see your teeth. So you I, I tell you what, and, and, and Herc's not here either. <laughs> Herc's gone. So your, your, your only other friend in Connecticut is, is in LA. That's why I he's thought going, you were my friend. That's why he's going home tonight. He paid for my dinner and sent me home in an Uber. That's, that's, that's why he's going home tonight. He's going to where else to go. All right. Let's wrap this up. Put up the graphic. There's going to be a show tomorrow. Craig will be back. Chaka will be here. Talk Oliver sorry. will be here. Dan Thomas will be here. I'm going to move. And Stevie and I will be recovering from our lovely dinner together. Uh -huh.